Hey guys, welcome back to the Give Me More Pizza channel. I am Alberto the Pizza Guy. And today I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, guys. And I just got me un tremendo pizza. Esta pizza es tan bonito que yo no me lo, no me lo quiero comer. This pizza is so, it looks so good, I don't even want to eat it. It's a very beautiful looking pizza. It's a work of art, guys. Let me show you this pizza, guys, up close and personal. All right, we're just gonna get right into it because like you saw in the beginning, in the intro, pizza is looking phenomenal, guys. They did such a good job in this pizza, guys, that they should definitely give themselves a pat on the back for this one. I'm so glad that I chose this pizzeria today. So glad. Look at these guys. Look at that pizza. I'm going to give this a boom, guys. Because this pizza, guys, is looking very, very, very good, guys. Very good. I'm going to go for the first bite, guys. Mmm. This pizza is so delicious. The honey on this complements this pizza, guys. It is very delicious. I mean, look at the crust on this. Look at the crust on this pizza, guys. I've never seen such a beautiful looking crust like this one, guys. So I didn't forget napkins. I had time when I was waiting for the pizza to be done to grab a couple. So guys, let me go ahead and put my slice of pizza down for a second. And show you my drink of choice, which is gonna be the Snapple Kiwi Strawberry, guys. Cheers. Good stuff. All right, guys. So let me um, give you the address to Northeast Pizza uh, Company. The address is 8439 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, guys. I wish I would have known about this place months ago, guys, because like I'm going to go over in a little bit the different pizzas that they have and the different names and things like that. I mean, you got, you got names like the Cookout, the Extreme Tomato Pie, the Philly Philly, right? The Bang Bang Chicken, right? If you like the Chinese food, they call, uh, they, they have one entree that's called the Bang Bang Chicken. They had that in pizza style here, I guess. Half and Half and the Popeye, which that one right there, I would love to do a review on at a later date. I mean, this pizza right here is called the Winnie the Pooh. Oh. And I just thought it was a cool name and it would be nice to do a review on a pizza that was called that. And we can go over about Winnie the Pooh. Um, later on in the review but right now guys i'm just enjoying this pizza it's that being delicioso so of course the pizza that i got today is called the winnie the pooh oh. pizza and this pizza has extra pepperoni ricotta and honey of course because we all know that winnie the pooh loved his honey just like I'm loving it on this pizza, guys. All right, guys, I just finished up my first slice. Now I'm going for my second. Still nice and hot. Um, I'm already like a few minutes into this review, but still hot, guys. Still hot. Mira pa allá. Mira pa allá. Look at that under part, guys. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is, guys. Look how beautiful that is. So let's go over a little bit about Winnie the Pooh, the character. It goes, um, Winnie the Pooh, also known as Edward Bear, Pooh 
Pooh Bear, or simply Pooh, is a fictional anthropomorphic bear. Try saying that five times, guys. Created by, the, by an English author, A.A. A. A. Mound, and English illustrator E.H. Shepard. Winnie the Pooh first appeared by name in a children's story commissioned by London's Evening News for Christmas Eve in uh, 1925. The character was inspired by a stuffed toy that Mound, I'll put the name right down there, guys, M I L N E, have bought for his son Christopher Robin. You remember that character from the Winnie the Pooh uh, cartoons, right? And, and the books as well. In Harrods department store and a, and a bear that they have viewed in, Lon in the London Zoo. And that is so cool, guys, that all this took place. All this manifested because of um, him going to the zoo and a stuffed bear that he bought at a department store. That is so cool, guys. And to this day, Winnie the Pooh is loved and liked by children of all races all over the world guys so guys let's go over a couple comments that people have wrote about northeast pizza company the first comment goes ordered dinner last night and we love their pizza who doesn't guys i mean just just by this one you guys can see what kind of work they're doing out here amazing pizza some of the best in philly probably the best in philly in my opinion Amazing pizza, some of the best in Philly, as they said that, would definitely make the drive out to get it. You won't regret it. And their specialty pizzas, I enjoyed the Buffalo Chicken and the Winnie the Pooh, which were both delicious, guys. They just mentioned the Winnie the Pooh. They mentioned the Buffalo as well. So this is a, a fan favorite. Uh, customers out here are loving this pizza. And I'm, I'm glad I, I picked this one. Um, I did have in mind another one, but I said that we're going to go with this one. And... Uh, Definitely did not disappoint, guys. So here's another comment that someone wrote about Northeast Pizza Company. The second comment goes, love the place. I went there not long after they opened. I had my four-year-old daughter with me while waiting for our food to be ready to carry out. An employee was so awesome, they put cartoons on for my daughter to watch. It was so sweet of them. We have gotten food from them many times since. Because of the quality of the food, we will always get exactly what we ask for. Hot and fresh when delivered and when we have picked up the food is done before their quoted wait time. I recommend them to anyone. That was kind of a long one. That's why if I stumbled a little bit, I apologize. But you understand, you get what I'm saying, right? But... Going above and beyond for your customers is really awesome. And that's how you get your customers to come back. Because it, it, the quality of pizza is one, yes, but the, the customer service is also a major part, part of that, in my opinion. You know, you got to have both hand in hand, okay? That's how I look at it. But here, they're winning on both ends, customer service and pizza, guys. Like this one right here, guys. I'm really enjoying it. So guys, I want to mention uh, something real quick. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I will be upgrading. I will be changing the the car seats in the, in the pizza mobile, as I like to call it. Um, same design, different color. Uh, it's gonna brighten up the the inside of it a little bit. So be looking out for that, guys. And also, my assistant. I know you guys haven't seen her in a couple of weeks. Um, it's because of her job change, and I just want to, like, you know, add a little bit of realism to my my video. Hopefully, we'll be seeing her, and I'll be having her on my reviews, so that way we can give you the best content we can, guys. So, all right, just wanted to mention that to you guys. So, all right, guys, uh, being as though that this is a square pizza. Um, we're just going to go ahead for the with the last bite. So, guys, it's about that time. Last bite. Done. Northeast Pizza Company, guys. Do not forget that name, guys, because they are going to be 
doing some amazing things down the line and I'm sure there's other, there's gonna be other reviewers doing what I'm doing the address is 8439 Frankfurt Avenue Philadelphia Pennsylvania guys when I tell you you can't go wrong coming here you guys gotta try the pizza out this was just Winnie the Pooh but they got other pizzas that I'm sure that is just as good as this one so if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on TikTok and on Instagram. Oh, you remember to keep saying, give me more pizza. And I'll catch you on the next one. Adios.